On our road to recovery, Santa Clara County is now the third Bay Area County to enter the least restrictive yellow tier under the state's COVID reopening plan. This leaves Alameda, Contra Costa, Marin, Napa, and Sonoma County still in the orange. Solano County is still in the red tier. Many restaurant owners are breathing a sigh of relief right now. And KPIX 5 Justin Andrews is in San Jose, just spoke to a restaurant owner not long ago. So Justin, is he ready? Oh man, Victor Garcia, one of the owners here, says he is excited for this yellow tier because that means, yep, more customers inside his business like it is at this noon hour. And honestly, even more responsibility because now he has to track vaccinations. At the end of the day, I think it's for the safety for everybody. It is for me, for my family, for my employees, for my customers. Victor Garcia, one of the owners of Tostadas in San Jose, says he's ready for whatever. Santa Clara County is now in the yellow tier, lifting some restrictions, but this new order also requires businesses to track which of their employees are vaccinated. All I can say is whatever comes, we're going to be ready for it. I know Tostadas doesn't back up. We're taking any challenge. Garcia is fine with it, but there are some privacy advocates who say this new requirement to collect the vaccination status of employees is troubling. They're worried who might have access to the data and how it might be used. There are medical privacy laws here in California, but there are often exceptions for public health. It's legal for the employer to request your vaccine status. Uh, many people say uh, there may be limits, for example, from HIPAA, and that's incorrect. HIPAA does not apply to your employer. It applies to your provider. Meanwhile, Tostadas has only been open for two years. One of them, it was clamped by COVID. Tostadas, along with many other businesses in Santa Clara County, can expand their capacities. Indoor dining at restaurants, movie theaters, and gyms can open at 50% capacity. Bars in the county that do not provide meals can resume indoor operations at 25% capacity. And it's getting better, so, you know, 5% uh, makes a difference for us. You know, for having one more person, uh, two more people, three more people. Uh, Little by little, we're getting in a better in a better place. While many people are anxious and ready to get back to some sense of normalcy, there are still some guidelines, understandable to Garcia. Everybody has their own different opinion. Uh, for mine, is about health. I know if they require it and I have to, then I'll definitely, you know, do it. If All right. All right, so the director of public health here in the county says this county is moving in the right direction. In San Jose this afternoon, I'm Justin Andrews, KPI X5.